What's going on, guys? This is Jesse, B6JTW, Canadian Rockies Radio Adventure. Today you're in my basement, and it's a mess. So just ignore the mess in the basement. But uh, I figured first video back after a long hiatus. I was away for work for a long time. And then things got a little crazy around the house with bad neighbors and stuff for a while. But everything's back to normal now. Been doing a lot of activating. Haven't recorded much, but... Uh, I figured I'd start with a, a gear video. So, there's a lot of gear now, and this is just one iteration of it. It is the middle of, or end of January. So, things kind of change as the seasons go on. But, uh, take you over to the table here and uh, start going through what I got. All right, guys. So, here on the table is all of my gear. I currently carry minus the ice axe that uh, that's a new piece of gear I just bought it the other day plan on starting to go up a bit higher and even in the end of the June July you can get in some snowy slopes so figured I'd uh, pick one of those up anyway we'll start over here with the, the backpacking portion of the gear so here is my new pack that I got from uh, Malin. It's a Mystery Ranch Bridger 35 liter pack. It's got lots of pockets in here. Open it up. There's lots of little spots here and there for everything. I can fit everything in there nice. It's great. Got a little, um, oh Jesus, a thermometer. Brain's not working, it's late. A um, couple pockets, actually. Got my counterweight for my antenna right here. It's filled with concrete. So I use that for throwing the wire. Um, bear spray, always carry bear spray. Doesn't matter, winter, summer, spring, fall. Helps, it works with cougars too. There's lots of, uh, lots of animals out there. Most of them wanna eat you, at least up here. Um, inside my pack, I've got my puff jacket um, in case it gets really cold up there. Got my rain cover for my bag. Then I got my own rain jacket. This is my uh, my soft shell from Outdoor Research. It's um, windproof, breathes slightly waterproof. I haven't tested that theory yet. Don't really want to, um, but it's really comfortable. It's worth every penny it's worth its weight in gold um this is my bothy bag i've only pulled it out to see how she works never uh, never had to use it but uh if it's windy it's cold that's something great to have can also save your butt as an emergency it's an emergency shelter for if you get stuck out there and the weather's bad it's my butt pad it's uh it's just a windshield cover cut in half, taped up the sides. It's a little bit better than sitting on the rough ground. Um, got my gloves, I normally, this is all I normally wear when I go out. Um, around minus 15 Celsius. I'll pull out the bigger gloves, but those are in the truck, so I'm not gonna go out there and grab those. Also got my, uh, my balaclava, just in case. It hasn't been too terribly cold out. Um, getting into the med kit, normally carry around Advil, some Roboxacet, uh, some Naproxen, you never know when you might get a headache or something out there. Got some gloves, band-aids, gauze, um, always carry a compass. If you don't know how to use a compass or read maps, it's a good, good skill to have. You should take a course or watch some YouTube videos, it's worth having, save your butt in a pinch. I got my, uh, my headlamp, might actually use that in the next couple days, go out early. Um, Blistex, self-explanatory. Uh, fire starter, I used to have uh, dryer lint in a Ziploc bag just in case I needed to actually start a fire. Um, these tabs are like electrolyte tabs plus caffeine, you throw them in the water, shake it up. Gives you some energy, makes you feel a little bit better. Some of them taste good, some of them taste horrible. 
else carry water purification tablets just in case you get stuck out there I don't trust the water that you find out in the in the back country so it's better to have these drop a couple tablets in shake it up leave it for a bit and it kills everything that's in the water uh, another good safety feature or safety tool Garmin inReach mini so I can text the wife text whoever I need to text it's also got the SOS button so if something happens, get attacked by an animal, um, break your leg, break your ankle, take a fall, find somebody on the trail that needs help, you hit that SOS button and it'll get you in contact with um, search and rescue or whoever you need. Um, it's a great piece of equipment. I used to use the Spot Messenger, don't like that one as much. It did the job, but I put it away and I'll be selling it eventually. Um, so that's basically it for the backpack gear. The other thing that I carry my, on my backpack are my micro spikes. I have no use for crampons as of right now, so micro spikes are what get strapped onto the back of my bag and I use those whenever it's icy or snowy and you start slipping and sliding down a hill. But let's get to the meat and potatoes. What everyone's probably watching this video for is my summits on the air radio kit so if you're in and around Alberta and you see the spots you know I don't spot on two meters um, for soda activations um, so I, I carry it basically as a backup or if I'm with somebody and it's a summit that I haven't done before I can stay outside of the activation zone and once they get up in the activation zone I can chase them and then once I get that contact, then I'll climb myself into the activation zone and activate. And that gives me the complete for the summit. Um, it works. This is a ICOM V86. It's seven watts. Um, it works great. I have my longest contact. Oh, geez. I don't remember. It was quite a long ways. I think over 100 kilometers. Um, the rubber duck I don't use. This is a, a diamond. Can't remember the model. And then I also got an MFJ Long Ranger for it. And hold on two seconds here. It's it's not short. It's quite quite a long antenna when it stretches out, but it gets your signal out there. It's great. It's flimsy. Um, you got to be careful with it. I know a few guys have broke them. They're not cheap. And uh, if you have an antenna analyzer, hook it up to that, and you can find your resonance right on the antenna. Um, from there, my antenna is a trapped and fed half wave for 40, 30, and 20, made by Malin V6 VID. He's an antenna guru. Um, I highly suggest if you need an antenna, maybe reach out to him. Um, he might have something kicking around or an idea of an antenna he wants to build and try out that uh, might work for you. Uh, he's, a, he's I've I've never I've only ever used his antennas, so they're great. I make contacts everywhere, even five watts QRP. I'm getting Europe and I get France almost every time. I get Christian Foxtrot Four Whiskey Bravo November. I get Sweden, Slovenia. Um, I, so far that's about it. Uh, Spain. I get Spain quite a bit too. Um, my key is the Bama TP3. It's worth its weight in gold. It's fantastic. Um, it's just inside of a little like uh, square reader case. Um, another Amazon special speaker with a connector that Malin made for it. Um, I carry around three mechanical pencils with me and then my baby the uh, MTR 4B mountain topper uh, by LNR Precision. This thing is phenomenal. It's Honestly, if it had 15 meters, it'd be the greatest radio I think ever um, Rumor is they're redoing the MTR 3B at the end of the summer. So fingers crossed. I'll be Picking something like that up. I also use some JBL headphones. I use these more often than not. Easier to pull low signals out. 
again it's just in a little Amazon case glued the V6 soda patch on it um, use a RC car battery uh, three cell 11.1 um, volt 1100 milliamp hour battery this thing's great I can charge it up and do two three activations with it and never had an issue it's never failed me I have a backup that I'll carry depending on where I'm going um, and then I carry all of the radio stuff in this little Condor bag that I got from uh, Colonel Mustard um, I also use this clipboard covered in stickers colonelmustard.ca great place if you need little carrying bags or cheap gear definitely check them out they're a Canadian company right here in Cochrane where I live actually um, got some stickers from Tim and 7KOM and Red, Red Summit RF, Charlie. Um, what else? Get in, I wear gaiters are almost year round thing. I've got this pair of gaiters and I have a cheaper Amazon pair of gaiters for in the summertime. They, uh, they work much better. These outdoor research ones are pretty heavy duty. It's my Black Diamond Ice Axe. Talk someone down from 80 bucks to 50 bucks for that. And then uh, my hiking boots. These are my summer boots. They're uh, Scarpa Rushes. Super comfy boots. Um, super flexy. They're almost like a, a trail runner turned into a boot. A little more, a little more stable. Um, so far what I've used them for they're great um, I haven't done much scrambling or anything with them um, so I think for the most part what everyone does they're great they'd be great boots I wouldn't recommend using them over 3,000 meters I don't think the sole's not strong enough to deal with the scree and whatnot it's, uh, I don't even think it's a vibram sole no no it's some weird weird rubber um, anyway, and then these, these sheets I get, uh, Charlie, Red Summit RF, sent me his PDF for these, so I just print these out whenever I need them and chop them up and fit them in there. But yeah, besides that, that is my soda gear, 90% of it. My winter boots are, um, Keen Rebels, they're Keen Rebel 5s or something along those lines. Um, they're great boots. They're rated for minus 40. I've been wearing them for the last month and my feet haven't been cold one time. Anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my list of gear and I'll try and compile a, a list of websites and where to get some of this stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's late. So I figured I'd get one video out before, uh, or at least one video out before the end of the first month of the new year because they said they'd start putting videos out this year. Um, anyway, yeah. Thanks for checking out the channel. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next one. 7-3.